A trip to an island. All right. So now, tell me, where would you like to go? Would you like to go to a bird park by a lake, or to an island? Miss, we would like to go to all these places. No, no, we can't go to any of these places. So we need to choose a place. After a lot of discussion, we decided that we would like to go to an island. The reason was we would go by a steamer, see what an island is, and also to explore the cave there. Miss Sherry was a very organized person. She had divided us into five groups. Each group would bring their food, ground mat, plates and glasses. Torches and a few other things. Finally, the D-Day arrived. In my group were Mary, Sheena, Tom, and Raymond. I have brought cookies and sandwiches for us. My mom packed juice cans and chocolates. I have brought three torches, fishing rods, and frisbees. I have got seven bottles of water for us and a few packets of nachos. A little later, we got into a huge red bus and drove away to the jetty. The way was not long, and we reached quickly. Always be with your group and never be alone. Wow, the water looks so cool. Children, please stand in a queue so that you board the steamer. We all got into the steamer and put on our life jackets. It was great fun traveling in the steamer. The steamer cut through the water. It even shook a few times. We were a bit scared, but we enjoyed. And finally, we landed on the island. It was full of trees. It was a beautiful sight. Everybody. May I have your attention? We wish to set down a few rules, which all will follow. Never leave your group or move away alone. You may click pictures and gather leaves and flowers for your projects. We all will go around the island together. This way, we will be safe. And so, we went around the island, talking, laughing, clicking pictures, and also eating. Suddenly, we came across a cave. Miss, there's a cave there. Can we go and see inside? Well, I think it's a good idea. And in we went. The cave was dark, but a faint light gleamed at the end. Our voices echoed inside. We began talking softly. The walls of the cave were stony. We had lighted our torches. Suddenly, we heard the growling of a machine. What's that? We moved forward, though carefully. Guys, there may be people in there. We should be careful. When we reached the end of the cave, we saw a machine working, and currency notes were being printed. But there was nobody around. All around, there were bundles of fake currency notes. Children, I smell trouble. Let's move out and inform the police. These people might be dangerous. We all walked quickly out of the cave and came back to our steamer. On the way back, we all kept talking about who those people could be. Our teacher looked tense too. Our brave teacher had done a great job. She had helped the police in arresting a gang of people who were printing fake currency notes. She had become the headlines of every newspaper. We felt so.